ambush rack away from goal. Eilson still in there. Rack has it again. It's a desperately small crowd here at Home Park this evening. They think the tie's over and it could be now because the opening goal has gone in. It's Dean Keats. And really, 5-1 now on aggregate to Walsall. This game must be over. Pointed. Well, it opened up for him. It took a deflection. Possibly off McGregor. Might even catch the leg of Ashton. It's a deep corner. Through the mist. It goes in. And again, Plymouth conceded a sloppy goal in their back line. And really the tie is now officially over. The corner came a long way. And it eventually ended up at the feet of Tony Barras, who mishit his shot and it sliced into the net. Plymouth's side has been hit by injury. But Walsall have rested a number of key men tonight. And for them to be 2-0 up in such an easy fashion doesn't bode well for Plymouth. They might at least get one back. It comes to Stonebridge. Fine save from Emerson. Oh, Ian Stonebridge didn't know too much about the goal he scored in the first leg at Walsall. He had the chance to power one in on this occasion. But Emerson was equal to him. Eilson. And Sullivan quickly in. A touch on from Gritton to Stonebridge. And I think it might have taken a slight deflection. In fact, it was a double deflection back onto Stonebridge. The young Plymouth striker. He's trying to get close to goal tonight. Keats. Eilson wants the ball played over the top, but it'll come to Brissett. Just help it on its way to Olsen and Brissett goes the return. Robbins waits, Robbins collects, here's Bookran and it's three. It was easy for Gabor Bookran. He scored at Walsall in the first leg. He scores here at Home Park tonight to make it Plymouth Argyle nil, Walsall three, Plymouth one, Walsall seven. McGregor. for Gritton wants it on his left foot it's a fantastic goal from Martin Gritton at last the Plymouth fans have something to cheer as does Martin Gritton he pulled it out from under his feet perfectly to lift it over Carl Emerson it's really immaterial but the score now Plymouth 1 Walsall 3 Plymouth 2 Walsall 7 on aggregate Gritton. Space just opened up for him. Now Belgrave was just put off his stride by excellent defending from Ian Roper. Barrington Belgrave making his fourth appearance as substitute for Plymouth. Just wanted it on his right foot to strike it quickly and he struck it wide. When you're 7 2 up on aggregate, singing and dancing in the rain, definitely in order. McCarthy tries to fire it across. It will come to McGregor. Might think about laying it back to Besto. Goes for goal himself. Not far wide from Paul McGregor. Hargreaves, Belgrave, all way to the middle. And they'll have to go backwards to go forwards, and now they've lost possession as Bookeran finds Brissett, Ricketts and Eilson. His partner's in crime up front as the cross comes in towards Ricketts. Well, Michael Ricketts won't have an easier task to put the ball in the net than that. 
to be fair to the young striker, he did have to climb to try and control the header. But Ray Graydon, his manager, would have wanted the goal. Keats takes it. It'll fall for Olsen. And the man who really rendered this game a non-contest with his two late goals at Walsall has got another late on here in the second leg to make it 8-2 on aggregate to Walsall. Belgrave skips away. Can he mark it with a goal? Well, he perhaps would have done. And what will referee Steve Dunn do here? Because Belgrave was through, and even though the score is 8-2, Steve Dunn follows the letter of the law, and for that tackle, Tony Barris, who scored the sixth goal for Walsall, will play no farther part in the game. Walsall got a late goal. Can Plymouth. McCall. Hit Vivash. Stay in play. And collected by Carl Emerson, another the free kick hit, Adrian Vivash. One has to hope the size of this defeat won't knock Plymouth's confidence this season. It is just the first round of the Worthington Cup and the scoreline has finished 8-2 on aggregate to Walsall. But Plymouth have plenty to look forward to in the league and that's where their efforts will have to concentrate.